Hi, Nancy here, and today I want to show you how to use the uh, Scassell Addy Flexi Flip needles. I think the smallest size are four odd zero, maybe, uh, it could be three, and the largest is an eight. They are yet another alternative to not using double points, I guess. But anyways, they're pretty easy to use, and I'm going to show you how it's done. So we'll start with one needle and we'll cast all our stitches onto one needle. Anybody who's watched my videos before knows I always cast on an extra stitch for the join. So we're just gonna do a long tail cast on, and I'll just cast on 10 stitches plus one. Okay. So we got two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, and then our joining stitch, okay? All right. So I'm going to take all those stitches and I'm going to slide it down to the other end so that the stitch without the working yarn is at the point. I'm going to add, grab a second needle and I'm going to slip half the stitches plus one onto this needle. So one, two, three, four, five, and then our extra stitch is the sixth one. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it over so that the wrong side's looking at me. That ensures that the working yarn's coming off the top of the needle. Okay, I'm going to slide everything down to the opposite end. Now you'll notice it's already joined where I folded it. That's joined, not a problem but we've got to get this other side joined. So now I'm going to use the third needle and I'm going to take that extra stitch that we added on. Come on. One nice thing about these needles is they have a, two different points on each one. One's a rocket and the other one is a uh, just their standard tip. So it's kind of nice depending on what you're working on. Okay, so now it's sitting next to the, the stitch with the working yarn. I'm going to take that stitch and I'm going to slip it over the top of the extra stitch. And then I'm going to gently tighten it. And ta-da, you have a very nice join here. There's no long bars. It's the same on both sides, which is why I always add an extra stitch. So I'm going to take the back needle and put it out of commission. That's the same thing you would do with two circs or with um, a magic loop. So now I'm going to not take my tail. <laughs> I almost did that again. And I'm going to knit across so you can just see how this is done. Okay, get this down a little further here. I keep bumping my camera, which I don't want to do. So across it goes. Okay, here we go. Okay, we got one side done. Okay, so I'm going to get that out of commission. I'm going to flip it. There is a lot of flipping, I think, with these, but you, you know, you get a you get a momentum going. All right, so now I've got a free needle again. All right, so now. We're going to knit across these stitches right here in front of us. All right, and off it goes. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to slide it down. All right. Okay, so that's a completed round, and I know this because the tail and the working yarn are at the same spot right there so that you know that's how you use them i have uh done a pair of socks i've used them a few times this is what i'm working on right now and you know i like them i i must say it has some uh some nice advantages to it i know this is gorgeous yarn i'll give a shout out to stacy at mustache yarn um I'll put a link to her site. This is her Dark Side series, uh, you know, Hail the Rock and Roll Bands. I think that was her summer series, that Dark Side of the Moon. But anyways, um, I think it does a very nice job. So anyways, it's an alternative for those of you out there who really do not enjoy double-pointed needles. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you.